Since 2012, over 40 exploration wells have been drilled in Kenya's South Lokicha Basin by Tullow and its partners, with over half a billion barrels of recoverable oil identified. Tullo and its partners, in collaboration with the government of Kenya, have successfully commenced trucking of crude oil from Lokicha to Mombasa as part of the early oil pilot scheme. Now, Tullo, Africa Oil and Total are ready for the full field development and Project Oil Kenya will be the nation's first upstream oil project. A project of this nature uh, will put Kenya in the oil and gas export market. The benefits for Kenya are substantial. It's a much bigger picture. Key to the success of this project will be the adoption of a factory drilling approach. So today we are at the Amasing field. What you're seeing right behind me are the two Brizel wells we drilled about four years ago. What you're seeing to the left of me is how these wells will look in the future. All the wells and the flow lines will be brought into a large central processing facility. The fluids come back into this single facility. It's the main junction where oil, water and gas get separated. Gas is used for power generation. Water is put back into the reservoir for pressure support and the oil is moved through the pipeline for export. The integrated CPF is spread over 433 hectares and it contains the main oil production facility, support services as well as crude oil tanks and pump station where the crude oil will begin its journey. This is going to be an 18 inch pipe. It will be buried. The waxy nature of the crude means that it needs to be heated all along the pipeline. The first half of the route will have elevation changes and include three river crossings, while the rest of the route passes through relatively flat terrain. Extensive environmental and social impact assessments are underway and the pipeline will be buried to reduce its impact on communities and wildlife. And as we do all of these things, um, the construction part of the project will be quite visible. Of course, the construction of the project, you will not know where the pipe is. The Lokichar Lamu crude oil pipeline will use Lapset Corridor, which will open the north of Kenya for economic development. The Lokichar Lamu pipeline will use Lamu port to build necessary export facilities. In just a few years' time, this pioneering oil development project will put Kenya firmly on the international map of oil exporting nations. It will demonstrate to the wider investor base that you can come invest a $3 billion project on time, within budget and without any incident. Growth in the oil and gas sector will develop capacity in Kenya, which will support future investment. Once, as government, we've put together the agreements with the, with the oil companies and the investors, the construction companies, it sets a template. Talo and our partners, they've done a good job uh, in a very difficult place. It's not Nairobi, where housing is readily available. Now you have to take everything with you. I think the other good job they've done is in creating some sort of enterprise for local people. Talo and its partners have built strong relationships in Turkana region and Lokichar has seen an increase in the number of local entrepreneurs. Sisi tukiwa wa mama, hiyo pesa inaweza kutusaidia kuendelesha kazi ya kikundi mbe, mbele. Watoto wetu waliweza kusoma kupitia hii biashara ambayo tunafanya. Besides developing local entrepreneurs, up to 10,000 jobs are expected to be created over the lifetime of full field development. I feel very proud to be seeing the sort of partners that we have, a government that's supportive, and I hope that the legacy when 
this is all done is to get Kenya to an oil exporting status and improve the socio-economic benefits of Kenyans as a whole.